some of the, the small studios that have just done a show and just yeah, talk about his career so far. Very smart. Thank you. Dressed for the occasion. Hey, no need for that. <laughs> um, do you want to just talk about how you first got started? Um, I always wanted to work in radio. Um, when I was very young, um, the Radio 1 Roadshow, which they used to do at the time, came to our beach, Bristol Beach in Newquay, and I was always the first person there yeah. when they set it up. Um, so it was always radio that I wanted to, to work in. Um, and it was only when we emigrated to New Zealand when I was 17, um, that uh, I started to apply to all the radio stations um, and they said, you know, we like what you're doing but your yeah. accent's far too English, <laughs> which was something I hadn't really thought about. Yeah. Um, and so there was an ad in the newspaper um, for a host, they were looking for a host for a new pop uh, video magazine yeah. style show. And I went for that and got the job. And that's how I ended up in telly. And after I got the telly, then the radio came back and said, oh, okay, now you're on the telly, yeah. you come and do the radio. And then when, I, when we came back here, it was there for about four years, um, we, I, I got a job on Radio 1, which was you know, just about the yeah. most dream job ever. <laughs> and then, you know, other stuff came from that. Yeah. And uh, since starting, what's been the biggest change that you've seen? I think probably the number of channels. Uh, yeah. When, when I started, you know, there was, uh, there were only, I think there were only four channels then, and then Sky started up, um, and now, of course, competition is everywhere, people schedule their own viewing, so yeah. you record something, watch it when you want to, um, uh, I think that's probably the biggest change, yeah. is that when you're on the telly, there are hundreds of other channels right, as well, Netflix, yeah. 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 and the days when you, you know, when a show would pull in 25 million yeah. people, uh, the yeah. other, those old days of, uh, of the light entertainment stuff that was massive, yeah. it doesn't really exist. Yeah. So you've done radio, you've done musicals, you've done like TV, what's been the highlight of it all? Probably I would have thought standing on stage at the Radio 1 Road Show at the end of that beach, yeah. when finally years later, and the Cornwall Devon leg was always the creep, that was yeah. what all the DJs wanted yeah. to do. And they said that it took me two or three years at Radio 1, and then they said, do you want to do the Cornwall leg? And I could not believe it. And so um, I finally got to stand on the stage of the Radio 1 Road Show, looking into the front row, where I was. Yeah. That was a highlight. And the opening night of Joseph at the London Palladium, because that yeah. was a risk. That was a big yeah. risk. Uh, so that was probably also, I would, I would say that was a big yeah. highlight. Is there any musicals that you'd like to do? I've, I've been asked to do most of them. Yeah. Um, but the, the thing is that you can't, it, they just don't fit in with this morning. Yeah. Uh, I'm up at half past five uh, every morning and if you were doing eight shows a week, then you'd be you know, finishing at uh, 10, 30, whatever. Um, by the time I got home, you know, it'd be almost time to get back up again. Yeah. So they just don't fit. Um, so, uh, so yeah, I mean, I've been asked to do lots and lots of musicals. Chicago keeps coming around. I keep getting asked to do Chicago. Both roles. But, um, you think you'll ever see it? Uh, maybe, maybe, if I'm not doing this morning. Yeah. The thing is, though, that uh, when you've got you know, the, 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 the big West End stars are like triple threat, act, sing, dance. Yeah. I can act and I can sing, but I am a rubbish dancer. Yeah. So I'm not, I'm only a double threat. <laughs> so if you look at some of the big roles, um, and they've, uh, you know, they generally require yeah. to be a good dancer, and it's just not in me. So um, that that's always, and I look at something and think, oh, it's a big dancer, I'm not going to do that. Yeah. And what's been the highlight of doing this morning? Best guess. Uh, I love the fact that it's got bigger and bigger and bigger. Yeah. The highlight is Holly. I just, it's like working with my best mate, stroke, younger sister. Yeah. We've never had a crossword. We've never fallen out. We, all, we think at the same speed. We have the same sense of humor. So that's it's nice. nice. It's yeah. never, and, and also we can find in each other. Yeah. And you know, if one of us is down, then the other one and that's a lovely working relationship. Yeah. I'm very, very lucky uh, in that respect. And it was the same with Fern. Fern was you know, also a really good friend. So, you know, it makes it a lot easier if you're presenting yeah. a show like this with a mate. Yeah. Uh, so that's a highlight. I love, you know, we've been very lucky. We, you know, we've won a few NTA awards. Yeah. Um, and uh, I love the, some of the uh, projects that we've done. 
Project 84, yeah. looking into male suicide, um, the Be Kind campaign, that's great. And then you get to meet everybody. Yeah. Um, no matter what the story is, uh, whether it's an actor or a singer or something on the telly, uh, you can watch something on the telly and think, oh, yeah, they'll be here. Yeah. So, uh, so invariably, you sort of get to meet absolutely everybody, yeah. and that's a nice variation. Is that one of the hardest parts of the job, though, getting to meet everybody? Because you get, like today, you had the people from the room. That's talent. tough. You know, you yeah. start the show with uh, with a, a very tough interview yeah. like that. Um, yeah, that is, it's hard because you always want to get the tone right. You want to yeah. get, you, you know, you, they came on our show because, and this is the other thing that I'm really proud of is that lots of people come on our show, choose our show because yeah. they say we can really trust you with this yeah. story. It won't be sensationalistic. They wanted to be absolutely sure that the tributes were paid yeah. to the to the two victims that lost their lives, um, and so uh, I'm proud of I'm proud of that. But it does make it make it tough. In the old yeah. days, you could do a really really tough interview. And then see the guests out of the studio, and then you've got a four-minute commercial break. I used to stand and look out of the view, yeah. um, and uh, just watch the world go by. Now we've moved studios, and that's just plasma screens. You yeah. can't watch the view because if you get up close, it's blurred. Yeah, um, that's all. That's all. Well, then <laughs> I hope it was all right.